I'm not one for conspiracy theories, but you ever wondered why the meltdown is in the state it's in? Abandoned buildings, mutated wildlife, eerie reports. You ask me, it's something to do with all the experiments going on in those secret government facilities. Actually, I guess I am one for conspiracy theories. Only Jumbo Medical Solutions guarantees that you die anywhere else. <laughs> we take Jumbo Card, Jumbo Mega Card, and Jumbo Plus members are eligible for experimental treatments. <laughs> Jumbo Medical Solutions. Fork it over. 24 hours a day. This is Two, two, two Point Radio.
For this very special edition of Sir Nigel Reviews, I visited the Seven Feet Under Funerary Home. I wish to make arrangements for my own eventual demise, and as with everything else, one must try before buying. After being buried for three hours in a variety of coffins, I finally decided on a lovely worm-resistant oak casket. Greatly recommended.
Today's guide to good manners is one that is dear to my heart. How to greet one's betters. Well, I for one would prefer you to bow, even kneel if you're up to it. Make no eye contact unless encouraged to do so. Also, do not forget that my first name is Sir. If all that is too much to remember, just don't greet me at all.
toilets as you would hope to find them, not as you would expect to find them. and Wolf on Two Point Radio. Today, I'll be talking about some of Two Point's best-known classified information. You can expect to hear about my favorite schemes, cover-ups, and scandals from our county's rich history of deceiving us. Strap yourself in and bolt yourself down. Folks, it's going to be a big one. called popular culture wants you to believe that Jumbo Megacorp is a company founded by the human man Jumbo McNally. But not so fast. What if he's just another Jumbo product? A walking, talking brand? A smiling face for us to watch eat sandwiches as if everything's fine. I'm not buying it. Ooh. 
Don't put your health in the hands of a quack. Come to Bungle Meditech, where advanced techniques and experimental treatments could make you live forever. Bungle Meditech. Other hospitals offer leeches. Ours will leave you speechless. 24 hours a day. This is Two Point Radio.
medical information. Buses to the hospital will be busier than buses from the hospital.
Delphine Nova, CEO of Bungle Tech, trapped by a local hospital this morning. The press release said she was offering to share her company's experimental treatments. You ask me, she just wanted to see what the competition is up to. You probably don't remember how long Tabitha Winsock has been our mayor. Nobody does. One year, she stayed in power by just not holding the election. It worked because no one was paying attention. That's how they get everything done. Now, as I speak, another thing goes unnoticed. And another. And another. And another.
GP's office. Let's talk about the Camouflage Falls Estate. The development has been going on for years, but we haven't seen a single photograph. Doesn't that seem strange to you? It can only mean one thing. The government are using Camouflage Falls to prototype photoretardant buildings. Think about some of the sickening implications while you listen to this.
as you would hope to find them, not as you would expect to find them. Here's an old one. After naming it Two Point County, our founding fathers were told that a third point had been discovered on the Pointy Mountains. This third point didn't fit their agenda, so they had it removed behind enormous closed doors. These are the kind of people that will stop at nothing to make sense of the world. I'm sure you'll join me in saying that they sound like a bad hang. A very bad hang indeed. Your salt levels dangerously low. Eat some briny brittle. The taste of the sea right in your mouth. 24 hours a day. This is Two, two, two Point Radio. The health minister is arriving.
Expect us to just forget about it and fall in line. They're ambitious, I'll give them that. That's about as much deception as I can handle in one day. Remember, none of these theories have been confirmed, but that's how you know they're true. 
when they get confirmed, that's when you know that there's something fishy going on. Anyway, I'm off to sleep with my eyes open. It is time to leave the woes of your petty, pointless little lives behind and listen to the fountainhead of wisdom that is I, Sir Nigel Bickleworth, here on Two Point Radio.
If you're thinking of checking yourself into a Holistics Commune or purchasing one of their many risible products, I can save you the considerable expense, not to mention social embarrassment, by offering an alternative. Simply rub some basil on your dead hair and howl at the moon. The results will be the same. Thank <laughs> you. 
task completed. Domesticated? Try litigating. The Bureau Cats are back with more wacky administrative mishaps than ever. Dumb Bureau Cats! No amount of paperwork is going to stop these cats from landing on their feet. Watch Bureau Cats every day on Bungle Kids. 24 hours a day. This is Two, two, two Point Radio.
And now, my ever-popular guide to good manners, in which I turn my attention to wedding etiquette. The first step should always be to decline the invitation. Should that prove impossible, perhaps you are the best man or, heaven forfend, the groom, then pay attention to every detail of the ceremony and banquet so you may later criticize them in a loud, obnoxious voice. to Nigel Bickleworth on Two Point Radio. We continue our efforts to improve our listeners' minds with another lesson in the correct usage of English grammar. If you ever write defiantly when you mean definitely, I shall hunt you down and beat you about the head with an umbrella. How's that for defiant? Patients arriving for the fracture.
Today, I shall be reviewing the new driverless limousine service, Ruda. Exquisite luxury, no annoying chit-chat, and a driving program designed to inconvenience all other motorists. Other than the journey ending by veering off a cliff, I can thoroughly recommend it. We have a VIP visiting the hospital.
This advertisement has been removed due to a dispute between Two Point Radio and the producer of Jumbo Nuts. Oh wait, hang on, it shouldn't actually say Jumbo Nuts. Can we do another, can we do another take? Okay, great. This is Two Point Radio. If I sound particularly anxious today, it is perhaps due to my new imported cashmere seat warmer. Never has my posterior been so impeccably toasty. I pity all you impoverished listeners whose hindquarters shall never know such opulence.
Singer Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. Put down your pitchforks and take a deep breath. Ricky Hawthorne is here. Today on Two Point Radio, I'll be taking you through a day in the life of yours truly. We start the way I start every day, with some music I don't know the name of. Patients for DNA Lab arriving.
each day, my first task is finding my slippers. They could be in any of 17 or 18 locations, and so this can take some time. Once they're found, I have some oats and homemade cottage cheese, and dry iron my clothes for the day ahead. Ready to go, I'll listen to my show from the day before to focus my craft. I take extensive notes in a shorthand of my own devising before shredding them and filing the remains. I find it's important to have your own creative process. Patients arriving for pharmacy.
Read Charlatine Fish Rapper at the Two Point Squabbler and Two Point Squabbler Online for great stories and perspective from a human just like you. Serving Two Point County. This is Two Point Radio. It's then time to decompress in the garden. I find it invaluable to spend some time amongst the root vegetables, alone with the ringing in my ears. Everyone should make some time to be totally vacant.
We've reached the portion of my routine that's happening right now, when I head into the station to do my show and talk to all you lovely people. Afterwards, Mr. Wolf and I might get some food, if he's around. Although that's a rare occurrence. <laughs> An elusive breed, that one. Some alarming reports of an earthquake causing considerable damage to a local hospital. Hope nobody broke anything, but if you did, at least you're in the right place for it. Any suspicious objects should be poked with a special stick.
Radiology. It's important to me to feel like I've got my finger on the pulse of Two Point County. So after work, I'll head out to take in the sights. I'll absorb the culture, see a talkie I've not yet seen, or simply listen to people talk at the park. In everything, there's a lesson to be learned by listening. Here, try it with this next song.
Jumbo Magnelli, the greatest business leader in the world, will be presenting Jumbo's latest slate of minor upgrades at this week's Jumbo Expo. Buy your tickets now and don't forget to bring your credit cards. This is Two Point Radio.
We're just getting news of an electrical storm affecting one of our county's hospitals. That's going to play havoc with the equipment. Glad I'm not having an operation today. But if you are, just try to stay positive. The dashing Roger and Cushion, star of the perilous spandex films, was seen doing a bit of publicity down at a local hospital today. I'm sorry, did I say publicity? I meant charity, of course.
Before bed, I reset the Hawthorne residence, hide my slippers, and warm a glass of orange squash to have with whatever old manual I'm reading at the time. Ovens, vacuums, boilers, I don't discriminate. And then to sleep, when I dream dreams of radio. Good night. Patients for DNA lab arriving.
This is Two Point Radio, and I'm Harrison Wolf. If you tuned in by mistake, you might as well stick around and listen. See if you're changing the station. you to look at your radio. Really, look at it. Now, pick it up. Feel the weight in your hand. Open a window. Now, I want you to throw the radio out, hard as you can, because music deserves to be free. Now, go to your nearest radio repair shop. But you probably didn't hear that. 